please don't get scammed if someone ask, yeah. uh, offers you guaranteed admission because that's uh, one uh, of the easiest way. To There's no money. guarantee the, about like admissions. That's only guaranteed from the side of uh, university, not any agency. It's like anatomy, histology, they're super difficult and maybe in one subject. Yet for anatomy, you study more than you studied like in five years in uh, economics faculty. <laughs> You can apply with us for this faculty as well, and you will get your all service for a very uh, reasonable and good price. Very affordable prices, yeah. Uh, compared to other uh, agencies. Hello and welcome to MedHead, your medical study guide in Europe. If you're planning to study uh, medicine, something related to medicine, physiotherapy, uh, nursing, anything relevant to it, this is your go-to destination. We provide all the information about universities around Europe studying medicine. And we have Mr. Peter with us, who is expert in bringing international students, consulting them, uh, collaborating with universities for international students, exchanges, and so on. And today we are actually touching upon a very important topic, which is about transfers, especially in Slovakia and Czech Republic. And we are uh, covering multiple universities and faculties. So we are going to see some general guidelines of what are the uh, general requirements and what are the eligibility criteria for uh, these universities. So Mr. Peter, uh, give us some insight about like, um, let's start with Košice, where we are based out of. Mm -hmm. So the UPJS, what are the general guidelines for transfer students in UPJS? Yeah, so today we will speak about the transfer rules uh, to Slovakia and Czech Republic. Like some student was studying at University A and transferred without doing any entrance exam directly to their university. So okay. just submit the documents and immediately got enrolled in some higher year. Yeah. In this case, we will be speaking about the, we'll, when we speak about transfer, the student will, in most cases, need to pass the entrance exam. Mm -hmm. And only after passing entrance exam and being enrolled in the first year, Yep. and submit for the recognition of their subjects and then being enrolled in higher year. So yep. in university talk, it would be called recognition of subjects, but like we will call it transfer. Okay. So let's start with the Košice University of UPGS. We also have a separate video about that, so you can yep. uh, check it as well. But the general rule is that like the subjects that have maximum five years since completion in uh, September, and also there must be the same type of completion. So exam for exam, credit test for credit test can be recognized. Okay. Also, there is a new rule that subjects that were completed outside of the EU, USA, Canada, Israel, and, uh, and Japan, South Korea cannot be recognized, respectively, only in exceptional cases. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. That's actually um, interesting and uh, maybe let's touch upon one of the most famous faculties in Slovakia, which is Martin. Mm -hmm. So uh, how does the subject recognition and all this uh, eligibility criteria look like over there? So in case of Martin, the, there is, um, may, I would say it's a little bit more strict, but in Košice, theoretically, you can get enrolled only to the fourth year because like you okay. can, you need to complete at least 180 credits in Košice. Okay. But in Martin, theoretically, even I had students who went to fifth year. Oh, wow. But uh, the university, the faculty is very uh, picky about the students. Okay. So you can get, uh, you must be active student, cannot have interrupted studies, or you cannot be expelled from the studies. Mm -hmm. And also um, your marks can be A, B, C. So in, on the mark A, B, C, D, E, which, um, which means pass. The great scale. Mm -hmm. And F means failed. Like you can have only A, B, C. Maximum seven years uh, old subjects. You must be active student, cannot be expelled. Only in that case, like you can ask for the recognition of completed okay. subjects. Okay, makes sense. That's actually uh, quite useful. Like um, obviously that uh, you can go up to the fifth year, but yeah, the selection criteria anyway is more harder, which is the next faculty you would like us to touch. So now we will speak about the Faculty of Medicine in Bratislava. Mm -hmm. So recently we- Is it the Comenius University? That's Comenius University. Okay. Uh, and recently we became a representative for this university. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> After a long 
a long struggle and fight finally <laughs> 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 so finally you can apply with us for this faculty as well and you will get your all service for a very uh, reasonable and good price very affordable prices yeah uh, compared to other uh, agencies so in this case like they do also allow transfer students uh, maximum to fourth year again you can get a maximum 180 credits recognized respectively you need to complete 180 credits in Bratislava. Okay. Uh, marks A to D are uh, accepted. Uh, for example, if you studied in third year at your university before, like you will not be enrolled to fourth year. Maximum you can be in the same year and okay. then only proceed in the next year. Okay, okay, okay. So you just finish almost the third year and you can proceed to the fourth year to your uh, to communist yes. university. Okay. But firstly, like you need to, if you study before a third year, you cannot go to fourth year at communist in Bratislava. Do you want to touch upon like Czech Republic now? Because that's also a popular destination for like uh, international students studying medicine. Yeah, so definitely we will speak also now about Czech Republic. If we compare also number of seats and maybe also the transfer rules as such in Czech Republic, they are not that fair, um, like they are not that uh, good or they are not that uh, interesting for the transfer students. Mm -hmm. So some uh, universities even do not accept the transfer students. Uh, so in this case, it's Masaryk University. They okay. only accept accept the expelled students from their university to be enrolled again, like to be re-enrolled. Okay, okay, I understand. So then you have, for example, first Faculty of Medicine, which is part of Charles University. Mm -hmm. Again, their transfer rules are, are really strict. Okay. Because if you uh, have A and B mark, um, and that's and like no backlogs, it's that's not typical transfer students. Honestly speaking, like subjects like anatomy, histology, they are super difficult and maybe in one subject. Yet for anatomy, you study more than you studied like in five years in uh, economics faculty. <laughs> 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 so uh, that's why uh, the first faculty is maybe not a place where you will go to transfer. Okay. Uh, also similar, it's also second faculty of medicine uh, at the Charles University. Again, your average of marks can must be below 1.5. Okay. So again, it means like basically marks A and B. Uh, and so basically you cannot um, afford any failed subject because mm -hmm. then automatically you're out. We can also speak uh, about other faculties. So for example, Palatsky University uh, in Olomouc, they do also offer transfer students. Uh, marks A to D, uh, mm -hmm. but the, the, the trick is that if you want, for example, to transfer to second year, yeah. all the subjects which are in the first year at Palatsky University must be recognized. Okay. So it means... Uh, did you have all the subjects from the first year, same as uh, your uh, exactly. home university? So it means uh, one some subjects, there are also courses ch Czech language. So if you studied before okay. in Poland, Slovakia, anywhere, automatically yeah. you cannot get this recognized uh -huh. and you must start in the first year. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's like very hard until you're like actually transferring from Czech Republic itself. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, then we can speak about third faculty of medicine, Charles University. Okay. They maybe their uh, roles are better compared to other faculties in Prague. Mm -hmm. uh, bec uh, for example, like your study average can be 2.5 and better. So this includes basically A, B, C, D. On okay. another hand, like your, they allow maximum seven students to be transferred in a given year per oh, study program. Okay. So, so that's very competitive as well. Very competitive, not that many. That is the reason you need uh, MedHead to guide you how to tailor your application to get in those seven students. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes. Yeah, well, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. So finally, we got to top uh, two universities, which I would suggest you for the transfer. So we started with the uh, Radec Kralove because they allow uh, study uh, study subjects, study courses to be 
eight years old. So okay. this is maybe one of the longest uh, periods which I saw anywhere. Okay. Because in Poland, maybe they allow you two, three years in Slovakia, five, five years, steps yeah. uh, maximum. But Hladis Krava allows you eight years and for general medicine and for dental, seven years. Wow. So you need to submit all the official original stamped documents. Okay. And then there will be, re uh, there will be like approach on individual basis. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. And this brings us to our final uh, university. Let's go Morava. Ostrava. Let's go, uh, uh, let's go to Ostrava. Yeah, the lovely place. Lovely. It's a lovely city, by the way. I visited there. Keep on visiting there. It's very beautiful, and especially they have amazing concerts there. You know, they have uh, they, they were these uh, old um, factories, uh -huh. like because Ostrava was an industrial town previously, so city. So they remade those factories to move more greener to mm -hmm. like. Uh, places for concerts like metal concerts electronic music and all of this mm -hmm. so they have like really the best concerts in central europe in i think uh, one of those is colors of Ostrava. is it so uh how how is it like, colors colors it it might be could be yeah i think yes 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 colors of uh Ostrava, yeah it's somewhere in summers i guess yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah um it's very famous and very beautiful city peaceful very nice yeah, it, 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 it improved a lot since I visited maybe five years now, so... Oh, wow. And actually, like, a lot of international students as well are, like, uh, mostly uh, studying there. Um, obviously, there are Erasmus students, there are international students, exchange students. So, it's a very nice city for a student to live in Ostrava. Yes. So, this brings us to Medical University of Ostrava. And they opened the intakes just recently. So in this year, they can allow you to transfer to second year in mm -hmm. case you are interested. And uh, basically everything is um, decided on individual basis at this point. So okay. you can uh, check the, their syllabuses or you can ask us for the help and we can then take a look and uh, we can contact the, the board of the faculty and see whether there is some possibility for the transfer. So in this year, uh, like it would be possible to go to second year, then from the next year to third year and so on. Oh, okay. So slowly they're increasing it. Yeah, because like they opened the English program just now in okay. 2023. Okay. So from next year's, they will also offer higher years as well. Okay. That's actually pretty great. That's pretty great. Um, anything else you would like us uh, like to add uh, for our viewers? Yeah, so I just would like to um, mention also one thing. Many times I am getting calls or emails from the students and they they asked me, so I study here and I would like to transfer somewhere else. Okay. Can you give me a suggestion? It's really difficult to give like without seeing the subjects or even we, uh, after seeing the subjects. I, I can give the, um, uh, my estimation, but in the end, still it's university which can give you the final answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like no agency can promise you any guaranteed admissions any yeah, yeah. Uh, guaranteed uh, the, after looking for one day to your transcripts it's impossible to get yeah it's the faculty making the final call it's the faculty making the decision exactly yeah it's always uh, the university that makes the decision but uh, what method does is fine tailor your application so yeah then you can like be more prepared to actually get in one of the universities that you wish to get in yeah, so please don't get scammed if someone ask, yeah. uh, offers you guaranteed admission because that's uh, one uh, of the easiest way to There's no money. guarantee there about like admissions. That's only guaranteed from the side of a uh, university, not any agency. A exactly. So please be careful and stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, comment the universities or relevant content that you would like us to cover and share it with someone who's planning to study medicine. And until next time, see you in the video. Bye-bye.